Hero Price admitting that it made a big mistake with one of its investments. Our dear Drabosa out west and has the details for us. Morning, Deirdre. Good morning, Sarah. Well, T. Rowe calling WeWork a terrible investment that has, quote, caused us outside headaches and disappointments. Now, the rare public admonishment came in its mid-cap growth fund annual report to investors last night. T. Rowe says that WeWork's management took their advice to moderate growth for just a little while until, quote, New investors arrived to convince management to put its foot back on the accelerator. Of course, that new investor was SoftBank's Masasan and the Vision Fund, pouring billions into the co-working startup and bidding up its valuation to $47 billion. We all know what happened next. A botched IPO, Adam Newman out, and valuation falling to just a fraction of that, about $5 billion. But T. Rowe is not alone, and it's not just WeWork. Several other big mutual funds, including Fidelity, Jackson National, and Vanguard, they also put money into WeWork and had been marking up its valuation along with the wild ride it went on with SoftBank, and that has led to big, embarrassing markdowns for them as well. Now, talking of other unicorns and other write-downs, Jewel is another one where institutional investors, they got burned. According to PitchBook, Fidelity and American Funds had to mark down their holdings by nearly half last year after Jewel's valuation was slashed. Now, in its filing, T. Rowe concludes that the WeWork debacle, as it calls it, was an error in judgment, not in process. But guys, there could be other disappointments for T. Rowe and other mutual funds. They are big holders of other money-losing companies like Uber and Lyft, and they're only getting deeper and deeper into the venture capital world and getting into earlier and earlier rounds. Back to you. Yeah, Deirdre, always worth mentioning, it wasn't that many years ago, and the idea of, of Fidelity being a big holder of a non-public company was something people would not have anticipated. T. Rowe was early in doing it, of course, moving in, but, uh, I mean, these guys have all become such big players in terms of providing this growth capital, so to speak, for private companies. Absolutely. Here in the Valley, they used to be known as, quote, tourist investors, but no one calls them that anymore because it certainly looks like they're here to stay. And of course, as you know very well, it's not just the mutual funds, but it's the hedge funds like Tiger Global that are leading some of these big rounds and getting into some of the smaller startups as well.